I'm not sure about this thing that came with it, though. Know? That's like for rowing a boat, isn't it? <laughs> anyway. Hello, hi guys. Okay, so today I'm going to do um, a look with my mouldy old modern Renaissance palette. Yes, I'm going to do a look with this with this palette. Um, it's old and loved. Um, to, oh, look at those fingerprints. To be perfectly honest with you, um, I haven't used it as much as I as I thought I was going to. Um, I bought it when I was in America and it was all the rage. And um, whilst I do love the red colours on me, um, I just, I don't know, I just probably just don't take it out of my jaw as much as I should have. So anyway, um, I'm going to do this look. I just wanted to say thank you again. Please hit the like button. Um, that's really important and it really 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 does help my channel um, I'm getting to know some of you now some of you guys are commenting all the time it's just so lovely and what I will, I'd like to also say is sometimes when I'm um, replying to your messages it lets me post the message and then it says there's an error and I can't quite work out and then your message disappears so if you've sent me a long message and I've re not replied to you it, it, it's because I can't find it again and I've been aware that that's happened three or four times now which is really really frustrating and I'm, I do apologize in advance um, thank you so much again um, I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna do this look um, pigtails because it's Saturday and I can Johnny's popped to see um, someone and I thought I'd take the opportunity to have a go and again test myself put myself out there um, and do this look for you um, yes it's smoky and I've decided it's what I'm going to do you know if you want everyday normal looks it's not going to be my forte I did try one in the week it, it was okay but my hoods look enormous and whilst I do learn to need to learn to accept what I've got I don't want to settle and I want to look as pretty as I can because I think that's what that's why we're all here isn't it so yes um it's Saturday I'm not sure when this will go up um it's a little bit of sunshine outside and I'm currently doing a uh, oh, um a test on a uh, foundation so um that will go up as well at some point next week I really do like it I've, I've been wearing it now for a week so it's really good um so yes thank you very much and uh, I'll um uh, next time you'll see me I'll be scary again really scary because I'll have no makeup on at all. Thank you, bye. Okay, so I've done my, all of the stuff. Um, I don't know what. <laughs> um, let's do this, um, replicate this look on from this eye to that eye. And we'll start, shall we? Mm -hmm. So, um, Urban Decay Primer Potion in Original of course my favorite i've had some messages um do people think i'm gonna move into that way a bit Ooh. 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 that's better um do i think that eye primer is a game changer and my answer is absolutely um i've worn you know sometimes you get up in the morning and you think oh i really can't be bothered and i've just literally put eyeshadow on top of my eyelids and an hour later an hour later, I've got massive like creases in my eyes, not in my eyes, on my lids, extra creases on my lids, and it, it just looks horrendous. Um, yeah, I, I woke up the other morning and my makeup was fully intact still on my eyes, so yeah. And um, this morning I had two day lashes on because yesterday morning I overslept. Johnny got up at like five and I went back to sleep afterwards to set my alarm and didn't hear it. And um, yeah, I thought, right, okay, well, those lashes are still on. I'll just plaster some more makeup over the top. So yeah, um, right, okay, so I am starting with, right, okay. Rewind, Julie. Too chatty. Right, this is my Modern Renaissance palette. Probably just said that already. And I'm first of all going in with Golden Ochre. This is going to be my crease shade, transition shade. Uh, I'm not setting, not setting my eye. Sorry, I'm getting my positioning all wrong today. Not setting my, not setting my, not setting my, my primer, my eye primer, because this sticks on nicely. Um, as you can see, windscreen wiper mode and this is very, again, very similar. I'm not using creme brulee today. I'm not using creme brulee. Um, so I'm just going all over my, the, the top half of my lid, essentially. All the way in there. I'm going to do a bit more in there today. I'm going to do a bit more to have them look a bit rounder. 
and I'm going all the way out to the side. If I'm going to show you again from the side, I'm literally going like that. I'm, if I go any harder, all I'm doing is moving my skin. And the young people on here can do whatever they like with their brushes and their skin stays in the same place. Mine goes from one town to the other when I'm doing this. So we're going all the way up. I'm actually, I don't know if you can see, I'm going up and touching my eyebrow, but the shadow isn't actually being placed there. It's coming from the center of the brush. So don't be afraid to experiment um, and lift it up higher than you, you, than you, than you feel comfortable because you know, it, it, it does, it, it all comes together in the end, trust me. I'm a doctor, not really. Right, so that's that one done. Now we're going to use uh, Burnt Orange. Whoa. This looks really, actually, this rip looks really dirty. You should have seen it before I cleaned it. <laughs> right, um, I'm now going on with the next brush down. So this, uh, the other one was the Morphe G17. This one's a Morphe, sorry, oh, whatever. Morphe G24. All the brushes are listed below. And I'm going, yeah, burnt orange next. Um, I'm gonna tap this one off. It's a little bit lively. And I'm going, essentially, I'm, I'm gonna start tapping, but I'm also going to be blending, I'm going, further over this way today i don't know if you've noticed but the the uh, this eye looks a little bit more rounder i was watching brianna again yesterday and i've forgotten how deep she goes into this part here my eyes are really deep set so this actually i think complements my eye shape and the amount of lid space i've got so again i'm, I'm doing the windscreen wiper motions but i'm doing it really softly it might look like i'm going like this but i'm not really going like that so again almost right to the top, right next to your eyebrow. Uh, I want someone to tell me how to get rid of those lines under my eyes, not the lines, the puffy bit. I want to try and eliminate the fact that you can see this when I look down. When I look up, I look so much different. But yeah, someone help me. Someone please help. Okay. So just making sure that's blended nicely. See, there's a tiny little, it's created a tiny little bit of depth. Um, now I'm going to go in with, we're going to do the red now, ladies and gentlemen. We're going in with, where are you? Come on. Venetian red. As you can see, I didn't hit pan on these. They just crumbled. They crumbled all over my flipping carpet. Right, Venetian red. Now I've got, I'm going to tap it off, show you how much I've got on the brush. This is a little elf brush, I like this one. And we're gonna go, so I can show you, I'm gonna slap it right there, okay? Just by the edge of the color of my eye, which I think believe is called my iris. And we're patting. We're no longer swiping, we are patting. Now I'm gonna need a few blobs of this, but I'm always gonna tap it up. Oh God, I forgot again. Right, I'm going to put the powder under my eye because there will be fallout. There will be fallout. Okay, so patting, 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 patting. And I'm gonna go a little bit further over than normal and a little bit higher than normal. We're not doing, this is a, I'm going out. It's lockdown has finished. There is no more COVID at look. Um, and I'm going to do a d dime. Someone said dime, it's a dime. It's a dime size, 10 pence piece. And we're gonna go Again, we are putting on our makeup and we are looking at our makeup at the same time, straight on into the mirror. Obviously when I'm applying my makeup, as I've said before, I have to lift up my eyes to get all my skin lifted. Otherwise, if I put it on like that, it's gonna, it's only gonna go onto the visible bits. The folded bits are gonna miss, miss the brush, so. And I'm looking at it to see if it looks the same as the other eye. Now, obviously it doesn't because there are other colours. I'm looking for the height. I want to make sure that this height here is the same as that height over there. And I think we are at that stage at the moment. So I'm going to now blend because obviously there's a line in between that one and that one. I'm going to blend. And because we're using some quite bright colours, um, we need to blend just a little, little bit more than normal. Um, that means we will have to reapply it most likely. So I'm trying to get a seamless look from one colour to the other. So after I've done that now, um, I'm going to go in with, actually I'm going to put just a tiny bit more red on there, Venetian red, just because I want it 
a bit more pronounced it will come off it will rub off and I'm going to go just a little bit further over into this part here is meeting I'll show you the color the round the color of my eye I'm going that far today <clears throat> going to blend out with a Morphe Morphe M330 listed below and I'm going very lightly see very lightly just blend it all away otherwise okay now we're going to use cypress umber Come on. yeah so this one has crumbled it's a, it's a quite a nice brown and I'm going to use the Haki Hodo brush that you saw in the other video and I'm just literally going to get a small, a small piece of this and this is just going to create a little bit of depth and we're patting again here comes Jaker Jaker! Oh no, it's Dolly. We've seen Dolly before. Wait, wait, so Jaker's downstairs. Jaker's standing guard, the back door's open, so he's making sure that the monsters don't get us. A little bit here on the bottom. And that really is just to create some depth. Now it looks a little bit raggedy, so I'm going to, to blend. And in a minute, we're going to use Love Letter, which is a really like a bright pinky colour. Okay, can you see how we're going? We're layering and layering and we're getting a little bit deeper every time. And um, I feel like I might, yeah, I'm just going to get a little bit of love letter. Sorry about the mirror, I'm blinding you. Love letter. Um, there are some subtle differences. I'll swatch, it. I'll swatch these. Now, I think everyone, I'm sure loads of people have got this palette. Um, I'll take that off. Um, so this is just what it's going to do is it's going to bring the vibrancy back um, because if you just keep putting the same colour on it's not going to get any deeper or darker it's just you're just going through the motion so this brings just a bit more of the intensity back and vibrancy and I'm going to blend again and when I got to this when I did this eye I got to the stage and I thought actually I want a bit more of that orange to blend in up here so I'm going to go back into the burnt orange shade tap it off because I want the smallest amount and if you can see I'm just now I'm going back up to towards my eyebrow so I can have what I think looks quite seamless it, it, it's very seamless on my eye um, it's just creating what, what exactly what I was looking for so I'm now going to follow a very similar print look I didn't put my gel stick in <gasps> god and I got new ones as well so yesterday I went to Sainsbury's and I bought some more of the Rimmel Scandalized and I got some other colours to show you and remember I said that I'd lost some so I've got, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swatch these for you I've got this one which is called 003 Brown and it's actually got a shimmer in it I don't know if you can see it oh come on, I am honestly really rubbish at this there's a shimmer in there, when I put it on my eye you'll see it then we've got um, Whoa, 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 whoa. 004 in grey. Love this one. Grey. And then we've got the black. I'm not going to bother switch, swatching that for you. So we're going to go in with the brown. There you can see there that it's actually got some shimmer on it. I'll put some on the end of my finger. Maybe you can see the shine. There you go. You need swatches on the hands. You can put it on the end of your finger. I'm going to do with that now. Right, okay, so uh, waterline. And we're going just a bit below the waterline. Remember, we like to smudge, don't we? So just a bit below the waterline. Let me show you what that looks like in my eye. You'll be able to see the shimmer. Not to, not too sure. When I first put it on, I'm like, oh, no, that makes me look like I'm ill. Um, but as it's gone on, it's actually stayed. I quite like the look of it. So it can stay in my collection. I think one of the, I think the green one as well is a little bit shimmery. The green one that I had. Uh, now I'm going to do my top water line. I'm not going to do black. I'm just going to be a bit different for you guys. There you go. That's me with my coal liner in. Um, right. So I've lost my track now. What was I going to do before I did that? All oh, right. Okay. So I'm going to get a bit of the brown. You know the dark brown cypress umber on my Max something or other listed below. This is the 212 and I'm going to stamp this come on sorry whoa oh, 
Julie, come on. I'm stamping this on right between where my waterline is and my lashes are. So I'm creating just a, a darker line and then I'm going to go in with burnt orange tap that off this is a key coat brush uh, and I'm, I'm just going to copy the steps I've done on the one before but I'm not going to go into as many different colors there's no need to so that's the burnt orange then I'm going to go with Venetian red because I want it to have some red in it I will work these angles out I'm sorry and then I'm going to blend with that's the uh, Makeup Revolution brush. So, fairly even. I'm now going to do my special trick of underneath my eyebrow. The um, there we go. I think this gives instant lift. I absolutely couldn't. This, you know, it's really it's a crucial, crucial step as far as I'm concerned. And I go in here. You can see I've done one side of my eye and not the other side. One side of my eye, one side of my face. This really, really, I feel freshens up my eye. Oh, and I forgot to put in the shimmer shade. So we're gonna go with Primavera. There we go. Whoop, Primavera. Shimmery shade. I'm gonna just put a tiny bit on. I, I really, you know, not a, not really, I'm not even going anywhere. Well, I might go and get some more wine. <laughs> yeah, I'm good thinking you're going to get some more wine. So in the corner there, pulling it up and across, and that's enough for me. I don't want, don't want sparkle. So I'm going to, I'm going to zoom you out and I'm just going to swatch the colours that I've used today. So we had golden ochre. Now I'm going to do these on there because that worked out better last time when I was trying to show you. Then we had burnt orange. And then we had a Venetian red. And then we had Love Letter. And then we had Cypress Umber. And I'm just going to put the shimmer along there. There we go. So they're the colours that we used. As you can see that's better and this is what they look like on my eye so I'm going to go away and do um, my mascara and my lashes uh, well, I'll, do, I'll do my mascara I'll come back and then I'll show you how that looks and um, we, we'll take it from there won't be a moment I'm going to speed this up you know have a little dick around So just out of interest, I thought I would time how long this actually takes for me to put my lashes on, um, not including the gluing side of things. Um, so from start to finish, actually sticking it on my eye, it took the grand total of 19 seconds. Please try ladies, it's worth it. Okay, so this is the finished look Modern Renaissance palette. Um, I really, really, really like this. I say that about every look, I, every every look I do. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily as even as I like it. It looks even to me, but you know my face isn't symmetrical, as I've said. So um, yeah, uh, obviously with lashes, I didn't come back with just mascara, but I think you saw me put my mascara on I'll slow that bit down I'm just playing around with the editing software at the moment to see how I get on um, I've listed my makeup down below I just wanted to show you another two things this is the uh, scandalize um, cold 24 I'm gonna gonna show you again this stuff is just magic scandalize rimmel scandalize 24 hour something or other um, so I've swatched them on my hand for you and I want to show you how robust they are I mean they these things just don't move 
Now obviously we've all got watery water lines, but look, it's just... <laughs> oh, God, I'm so frustrated with myself. Right, okay, so I'm gonna lick my finger. You know, I'm pushing that quite hard. That's, that's, this is amazing stuff. You need to get some. They were four pounds. I think they were on offer five, from five, from five pounds. And the other thing I wanted to show you was, I've got no idea. Oh, yes, right, this. This is my new friend. Wet n Wild Colour Icon Bronzer. Um, I've listed it down below in Sunset Strip Tees. I looked at it and thought there wasn't any shimmer in it. And when I got it home, and I, well, actually I opened it in the car on the way home, it has got some shimmer in it, but... I don't know, it just, is. it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I'll put a bit there. I think it might be a little bit darker than it is. I'll show you on the end of my finger again. This is going to be a thing, isn't it? It has got quite a bit of shimmer in it, but I love it. For some reason, I just really like it. So, yes, this is the look. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, please, please look press the like button. Um, I've, I've recently learned that it helps the algorithm. I'm so impressed I said that properly. It helps the algorithm um, and it just, it really helps my channel. It, you know, if, if, yeah, please, please press the like button. That would, that would help me. I, I'm so guilty myself of watching other people's content and I just don't get in around to clicking the like button. And when they remind me to click it, I click it. It's just like, I'll, mm, I'll do it. But uh, yes, please do that. Thank you so much again for your subscriptions. Any comments below, let me know what you think. Um, I've got other palettes I'm, I will play with. I've got the Subculture palette, controversially. Um, and I was looking at ordering some more this week, but I've I'm a bit like I was going to get the Tartlet and Bloom or Tart, you know, the Neutrals palette. I just don't, when it comes to Neutrals, I don't, I'm not really sure what to do. You know, can you do three neutral looks out of one palette? I did get this one actually. I got this free from Boots in that packet the other day, and oh, it looks flipping amazing. I'm going to do something with this. Look, I have to cover, cover the mirror up. Oh, that fell out. But look at that. I've got no idea how good it is, but I've, I love the look of it. I'm not sure about this thing that came with it, you know. That's like for rowing a boat, isn't it? Dee -dee. Anyway. Right, okay, I'm going. See you later. Mwah. See you later.